Hi, this is Laura Yoon from Dutchie Branch. This is the vlog for Alba Classes C2 Lesson 7. Uh, the project was to design a smartphone for Microsoft, and the students were to go over the uses, the design, and innovation of a new smartphone. The application that I suggest for this project are Polaris PowerPoint for the presentation, or S-Note if the students prefer that. I'm also going to try out a new app called Artflow Studio, and this is great for sketching out designs. So I was thinking um, when they're doing the design component of the new smartphone, it'd be a nice way for them to draw the diagram of the smartphone and features. To make this project a bit more unique, I'm going to make a few adjustments for my classes. The first adjustment will be to allow the students to pick any company to design the smartphone for, as opposed to just for Microsoft. Even if the company doesn't actually carry a smartphone line currently, I think that it would allow for students to be more creative. And it might actually be a little bit easier for the students to be able to pick their own company because many of the students might not actually know about the Microsoft smartphones or the Windows phones because uh, I don't think the Microsoft phones are as popular in South Korea. The second modification will be to add a component where the students have to create an advertisement. So um, a video, commercial, or poster for the new phone. The advertisement will be used to highlight three main points. So first, it must show how people could use it in everyday life. Second, it must display the new design of the smartphone and describe it in an appealing way as to really sell it to the audience. And third, it must highlight the innovative features of the smartphone. And this is to make it stand out against competitors or previous models. As for the presentation, I'm going to ask the students to discuss the three main areas in further detail. So each student for every group will be responsible for creating their own presentation page on Polaris Presentation or S-Note. I prefer Polaris Presentation because it just looks a little bit more professional and cleaner when the students uh, use the different fonts, add in images, put in backgrounds, things like that. But a lot of other teachers I've heard prefer to stay on S-Note because it's a little bit more simple. And what you can actually do is export your S-Note pages into a PDF so that it does show up like a presentation as well. Now for when making the presentation page, I'm going to make it like a requirement for all students to incorporate a title on the page, um, symbols and images, and less words. So 75% images, 25% words. Having visuals up are a little bit easier in terms of having the students focus on the speakers as opposed to just trying to read what's on the television. Now, I've mentioned this in previous vlogs, but what the students have to do is, uh, after they create their presentation page, they have to display it in full screen mode on their tablet, screenshot that, and then Bluetooth that image or Wi-Fi direct that image to the person in their group with the final presentation tablet. So all of the media images and, and final presentation things would go on that one tablet. Um, I'm going to make the students give a speech along with their presentation page or pages on the section they're responsible for presenting. As usual, I've included requirements for their speech that corresponds to their presentation page. So uh, for most speeches, I would ask for a minimum of six sentences, including topical expressions, and having that speech reviewed and edited by the teacher to make sure that the students have incorporated the topical expressions correctly. If there's any grammar mistakes, just quickly look over those. And if there's any unanswered questions, I can ask them to answer them. Now, as you can see in my task sheet for this lesson, I've separated the three main sections, uses, design, and innovation, into three main roles. This is ideal for groups of three, but if you have groups of four in your class, you should obviously make some modifications to the task sheet. So for the first role, I've entitled it uses, the student must start the presentation with a clever introduction that goes over the name of the smartphone company and the name of the new smartphone that their group designed. I've also included some examples as inspiration for the students. A description of the uses and best features of the smartphones is to follow the introduction. Then, for the second role, the design role, the student must describe what their smartphone looks like. So this will include descriptions of things such as color, size, shape, and so on. They must also give details about what design features are unique to the smartphone and how that design feature will meet the needs of their consumers. Finally, the third role, innovation role, will have to explain what new technology makes their products cutting edge and improved from other smartphone models. 
their speech will have a lower sentence requirement because this role will also be responsible for gathering all the other presentation pages and putting together a final presentation. Also, the final advertisement, which would be like a commercial or poster, will have to be on this tablet. So rule three will be responsible for getting that task done, filming or um, taking a picture of a poster that's been designed or something like this. So that's my plan for lesson seven. I hope it works out well and I'll let you guys know how it all went and the changes that I made along the way. Good luck.